Hello, this is Nitzer626, and welcome to my second episode of the Nitz Build series on Just Two Gamers. Today, I'm going to be building uh, new residential houses for the uh, residential district, or I guess I shouldn't call it a residential district, but just some houses. There we go, just some houses for the city that I'm building. And you can see here me placing down logs as an area for where I'm going to put the houses and then filling in the space in between the outline of the houses with oak planks and I put the corners uh, as oak logs so um, I brought it up a couple of logs and started building the walls and as you can see on the house I'm currently working on it is just a normal square while the other two houses are sort of irregular shapes with a uh, one block strut outwards which is supposed to be where the door would be uh once i finally once i add it near the end of the build when the house is finished and uh, i'm just dashing along with the rest of the houses building up the walls with the oak planks and uh, the reason i decided to make those shape for these two houses irregular is because building normal box shaped houses even if you do add a bit of depth to it just feels a bit boring and a bit plain like we're doing the same thing over and over again so I didn't want to do that with this build and then here you can see me going around the houses with upside down stairs and that's actually going to be sort of like um, uh, what's the word for it it's sort of act as uh, a lip to the second floor since the second floor is going to be one block wider in each direction uh, from the first floor. One block wider and one block longer, I guess. And then uh, continuing the logs up for the corners of the second floor in different places, of course, from the first. And then going around and putting placements for doors on the houses so I know where I stand. And then going in the first house and adding an overhang over the door and then building up the walls on each side and uh, the reason I chose to go out by one is because you know as I said you can't have a boring box you have to add a bit of depth a bit of variety to the houses and I thought this made it look nice and you can see me change the camera to above the houses so you can see me build up the walls and uh... you might be able to tell but I'm actually wearing a new skin that I um made on the for uh, I made one skin for me and one skin for Christian from the Minecraft Let's Play and he and I, I made the skins for both of us and they were supposed to sort of look like us so I guess that's kind of what I look like and then you can see the camera showing the inside of the houses nothing in them yet after I finish the walls for the second floor and then doing the placement as I start the roofs now for the roofs of these houses, what it was going to be was, uh, I, I was I was sitting into the theme of the other buildings where I was building up with stone bricks for as the frame, and then I was going to fill it in with spruce, and then putting upside down steps underneath the uh, stone brick steps that make up the outline. And then this first house came to a point at one, so when I'm uh, finished with this, I'm going to cap it off with, uh stone stone brick half steps and I'm gonna have a log coming out of it and here you can see me starting to put the frame down and filling in the uh, roof with the spruce steps and uh, spruce wooden planks oh I still have a bit of Dr. Pepper hmm. and after that I go into the inside to add the log frame up top and then add the horns to the end of the house like I've done with the previous buildings then uh, you can't see me where I'm at right now but I'm on the other side adding windows into the house you can see an enderman dancing around with my dirt block and then adding a window and filling in the rest of uh, spruce planks and uh, I'm using glass uh, planes glass panes for the windows and see me on the roof adding a little overhang as a shade for the window on the roof that in case anybody's in the attic they can look out the window and then can't see what I'm doing right now because the house is blocking it but 
I am adding windows in to the house uh, around the sides and the back and the front along using uh, window panes as windows and putting hatches around it so that they represent sort of shutters uh, that you would close in a real window. And when it comes to building a building like this that's mostly square, you want to add a lot of detail. And if you think that put it, you've put too much windows, not don't really worry about it too much because windows look good as long as not necessarily spacing them out correctly, but as long as you try to avoid adding too much detail to it, which can make it sort of start to look less like a detailed and, you know, well, just generally good-looking building to something that's more of a mesh that doesn't look as well put together. And so you have to do it in variation because too much can be a bad thing. And then now you see me on the second building putting down the frame and stone bricks for the roof and then starting to add the spruce uh, planks and the lot and the... Uh, spruce uh, steps for the roof on one side and then I'm going to dash over to the other and put that in really quickly and then I move on to the front and back of the building for the windows that are in the roof and filling in the rest with spruce and then you can't see me on the other side, but I'm putting the window in on the side of the roof, and then once I'm finished with that, I'll come over here and add one to this side of the roof using window panes and uh, half and uh, plant half blots along with steps as the overhang or shade above the window. Then I'm on the other side. Uh, I'm on the inside of the house right now, adding the. Uh, uh, so a little bit of detail on the inside of the roof to make the outside look better and then going around the house and a quick look at it and then going on to the second house and I do the same thing I start to add in the uh, stone brick frame for the roof on the sides going out by one so it has a little bit of a lip or overhang on the side of the house and then building up the frame now the house I worked on before this, the second house and then the current house I'm working on came to a point of two while the other one came to a point of one. So because it came to a point of two I wasn't able to copy the same design that I had with the first one of having the horns on the side so uh, it looks slightly different without it but it copies the same design of the stone brick and the spruce because the houses are supposed to be seem like they're part of the same neighborhood, part of the same city and like they belong, they match with each other. They would look kind of awkward if I added a random brick house to this thing, to this city. It wouldn't fit in. It wouldn't be a part of it. It wouldn't look right. And then in the front of the house, I'm adding in the window on the roof and filling in the rest with my spruce planks and then going around doing it to the back of the house. And then, you can't see me, but I'm dashing around the house. And I was thinking of, uh, and I was putting down windows and adding the hatches to the side. And hopefully you'll be able to see me here in a sec with the windows. There I am, putting down the plant, the uh, hatches as shutters for the windows, and then of course this wonderful weather that is always so unobnoxious. Not really, drain in Minecraft really sucks. Oh, there's some lightning. Glad I turned off the uh, audio for this recording, or else I would be hurting. There we go. Setting the time today and clearing the weather so you guys can have a better view of the houses. Can't see me right now, but I was going around the other side of the house. Just popped outside, adding windows since it's supposed to look good. Not just from the side that you guys view it from, but from any side. Because that's what makes house good, not being half-sided. And then adding the... Then you see me adding the rest of the windows along with the uh, hatchet. Uh, those are called hatches. Yeah, hatches. And then going around the uh, the buildings, giving you guys a quick preview, and looking at the inside. Still have nothing done on the inside, so that's it. Thank you for watching.